Hey, 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 it's Tom here, Crypto Blogger. So, what do I have? Well, it's been a crappy day overall. As you can see on this little app here, which is almost like Coin Market Cap. It's not Coin Market Cap, but it's almost like it. Um, if you go, if you go to the twenty-four hour, you could see that um, you know most things were in the red today. If you uh, slap it down, hopefully I won't pause my video when I do this. If you slap it to the one hour. Now things are going back to green a little bit. You can see Ether is still lower than a thousand bucks. Bitcoin, you know, not that much over ten thousand. Um, so anyway, the uh, the red continues. I mean, look at Neo. Neo was it's like a should be an over two hundred dollar coin, and it's sitting here at one nineteen. The good thing is, you know, all of these things are really cheap. I mean, look at look at Ethereum Classic, $28. VeChain's actually holding up pretty well during this. I have this coin. This one's actually keeping my portfolio up right now. Um, it's usually over 8. Sometimes it dips a little below 8. Uh, you know, Verge is sitting there at 9. It goes to 8 or 9, whatever. You know, Binance between 11 and 13 usually during this time. So, you know, you go down the list, you find some that are uh, doing better than others, but overall, everything's depressed and down, and we've got these doldrums going on. Uh, the January doldrums, I mean, people have talked about uh, all these different reasons why the market's down, and it could just be a combination of everything, everything from Bitcoin futures ending on Friday the 26th to... Uh, whales manipulating and pushing the prices down so they could accumulate altcoins to, you know, governments and FUD and bad news around, you know, Asian markets with regulations. You got U.S. United States uh, tax time coming up shortly. I mean, in a few months, you're going to have all of that, you know, and uh, you got a lot more people in this than there were last year. So, uh, People worried about taxes. I know I am because um, in the United States, we have this ridiculous, uh, the government's treating these things as uh, commodities or property, not as currencies. And like when you sell a stock to buy another stock, just like when you, if, if, if you convert a coin to another coin, they're considering that a taxable event. I mean, this thing is, they are making it unduly burdensome, okay? Because you're not going to get this the regular IRS form like you do with a stock brokerage account from an exchange. Uh, you're not going to do that. You've got to literally pull down all your transactions and run them through something to find out how much tax you're going to owe. I mean, it's so ridiculous that if you buy something with Bitcoin, if you try to use it as, as a currency, they're going to say you're really selling that currency to buy the thing. So you're going to have to pay the Bitcoin fee whatever the fee is for the item, you know, you're going to purchase it. And then you're going to have to pay tax on the Bitcoin that you took out. I mean, it's just so stupid. It is so stupid. They, it's like, you know, Japan is the only country, I think, that's take, that's doing this thing the right way. And they're going to corner the market on it, and good for them. They're going to be have an advantage over the United States and all these stupid politicians that we have, these stupid, stupid, stupid. Can I say that again? Um we have Senator Dianne Feinstein in California that's trying to introduce a bill that's basically going to make it criminal, criminal, uh, if you use an out-of-country exchange. So if you use Binance or something else, it's going to be criminal to use it because they're going to consider your, 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 your moving assets across national boundaries. I mean, it is so stupid. And I'm going to do a video especially on that coming up, and I hope it catches on because these big YouTubers need to to pick up the mantle on this and get people on board to fight this thing because uh, God forbid they push something like that through. I don't think she will because right now the Republicans are in control and that she's a Democrat, but uh, hey, all you people who hate Republicans and love Democrats, uh, there you go, Dianne Feinstein. She wants to make basically make it criminal for United States people to, uh, to really use cryptos. <laughs> it's just, it's insane. 
So you got all this kind of stuff, these these stupid governments, these stupid politicians, these stupid bureaucrats. And, you know, they, they do play a part in, in causing a lot of fear. You know, there's a lot of people going to maybe leave the market because it's going to be too complicated. You know, uh, you know, you could go to prison for tax evasion. <laughs> they, could, they could literally uh, take all of your assets as penalties, you know, if, if you don't declare them. Uh, so it's, it's, it's no joke, okay? It's no joke. So, um, anyway, where are we here? So, uh, if I leave my, uh, the little app I use to access my tech bait set, if I leave it, leave it minimized for too long, it basically, it's got to call it up again, which is a little bit silly. I'm sitting here watching a white screen. I, I just love these things. You know, sometimes I have to do these videos on a phone I because I, of my family and everything. I can't just open up my laptop. I'll try to do another video tomorrow morning when they're asleep with my laptop. So anyway, uh, here's my... Uh, I use an app to access this website that I have. But you can go to this website, techbeat.net. It's pretty cool with the RSS feeds. All the, um, the cryptos are at the top and all the other technology stuff follows. So uh, there's an interesting headline here. Where is it? Um, it's a lot of interesting ones, but now is the best time to invest in Bitcoin, says digital currency hedge fund manager. And by the way, there's also an article floating around out there. Um, is this going to select? Uh, by... Um, uh, one of the co-founders, whatever, PayPal, uh, says Bitcoin's going to go to a million dollars. So for every idiot saying it's going to go to a thousand dollars, you got another idiot saying it's going to go to a million and I don't know which idiot's correct. So, uh, Brian Kelly, Brian Kelly, price drops do not mean the end of Bitcoin. He's a digital currency hedge fund manager. And this is a CNBC article. It's about time CNBC runs something that's pro-Bitcoin. Uh, so he's saying, look on the buy side. So, so maybe, maybe this kind of anti-FUD can actually... Uh, he's saying all that money is still coming in. Uh, cryptocurrency is in a handoff period, moving from retail Asian investors to U.S., European, and Japanese institutional investors. So there you go. That's big money whenever you talk institutional. So because this is not the end of, of Bitcoin. Um, we talk about Bitcoin being up at 20 grand. Everybody's running around being all excited. Those are the times to be a little cautious. Uh, you know, they give the usual cautions, which is prudent, right? And don't tell it to sell too soon. Don't panic when it drops 50%. Like all you, all you people out there, all you weak hands. You know, the weekends, uh, you know, the, the weekends, listen, don't, don't, don't be a wimp. You can't be a wimp in this space. Okay. Don't sell low. Then you only have yourself to blame when you lose. Okay. My portfolio down is down. Everybody's portfolio is down right now. It's not fun watching your total go down. But I am still way up for the year since I started doing this. So, you know, the most frustrating thing is that uh, it uh, puts a pause on your gains. Uh, nobody wants a pause. Everyone wants to get there faster. Everybody wants to get there faster. But sometimes you just have to wait. And that's it. Those are the breaks. Okay. So don't sell. These prices will come back up and we'll all be in the money. Okay, see you in my next video. I hope I remember. I really want to do a video on that Feinstein thing because uh, that's a real danger to crypto, at least for Americans. So, uh, uh, and you know, American money is a lot of money. So even if you're, you're, you're not an American and maybe you don't like Americans, 
I don't know how good it would be for America to be out of that market. Americans, we, we have a lot of money in this market too. All right, see you later.